He puts a helium balloon up in the air. So as long as the helium plus the balloon is lighter than the air it displaces, the balloon will be subjected to an upward force, which you can think of as buoyancy. Then this guy sprays the helium balloon with water, which causes the balloon to float down. Lots of people are commenting that it's because the water is cooling the helium at the bottom and condensing it to cause a pressure difference. Others are saying that it's because of the additional weight due to the water droplets. But some are arguing that these tiny bits of water droplets will not be sufficiently heavy to bring it down. While nitrogen make up 80% of the air around us, the difference in mass of 10 liters of helium compared to 10 liters of nitrogen is just a little over 10 grams. If each droplet of water from the spray bottle is 0.05 grams, then we just need 200 droplets to bring the balloon down. This guy sprayed the balloon at least 10 times. So I think it's all good for us to say that every single spray had at least 20 droplets of water.